hi everyone welcome back to another video on my channel today we are creating a soft pink and white ombre set or what we would also call baby boomers if you want to see how I've achieved this set just keep watching Okay, first off, the problem I think most people have with baby boomers or ombres is the white is so stark sometimes it takes a lot of work just to blend it into the pink. The thing I've found is that you want to mix a little bit of clear into your white till it gets almost cloudy. The clear softens it up so you literally may not even have to blend at all. I'm starting off by building up the lower half of my nail with that white mixture all the way down to the tip of my nail. As you can see I'm just using patting and pulling motions until I fully cover the lower half of my nail with that white acrylic powder. White acrylic or colored acrylic tends to be a bit more runny than clear acrylic so you want to just use um, a little less acrylic liquid in your ratio or maybe drain off some of that excess liquid on a paper towel before you go into the nail otherwise it'll be running all over <laughs> I take a bead of my Tammy Taylor P3 acrylic and I place it right where that white acrylic ends and I begin to blend that downward with the tip of my brush to create that seamless ombre of pink and white. And then I go ahead and I fill in my cuticle area with the pink acrylic and I only encapsulate where the pink meets the white so that when I'm filing the nail later I don't file away my ombre. I'm just going to repeat that ombre technique on my index finger as well as my pinky finger. And in case you're wondering, I am using the number 10 Oval Kolinsky brush from Alpha Brushes. I will leave a link for this and all of the products used today in my description bar below. Someone suggested in the comment section in my last video that I slow down the speed of my videos and as much as it is itching me to speed this video up, I'm going to leave it at real time speed so you can have an idea of how fast or slow um, I work with the acrylic. If you, you know, prefer this speed, let me know in the comment section below so I will know how to adjust my future videos for you guys.
I'm just gonna build up my middle finger and my ring finger with my Young Nail Speed Clear Acrylic as I will be um, doing some design with some crystals and some line work later on on these two fingers. Typically when I'm doing my customer's nails, I tilt the fingers downwards so the acrylic runs down towards the tip of the nail versus flooding the side walls or the cuticle area. It makes it a lot easier.
So this is my actual speed shape filing. I use the 100 grit file to perfect the shape and it really doesn't take me that long to shape, uh, perfect the shape. Um, as I said, once your application is as close to how you want it, you would spend less time filing. And I guess with practice, I've gotten the symmetry down. Occasionally, you would see me measuring my nails from the cuticle area to the tip of the nail on each nail to make sure that they are all even. And um, I just try to get the shape as perfect as possible on all of the nails so that they look nice and neat. So here you can see I've stopped to measure the lengths to make sure that they're all even and I measure before filing each nail and after filing each nail. So I'm checking my pinky finger and my ring finger so that when I'm filing I'll know if I need to remove any excess length or you know just shape the nail and perfect it. Once I've perfected the shape, I use my carbide bit to do some surface filing and you know really smoothen that nail out, seal my cuticles and then I go in with a sandban as usual to remove any file marks that this carbide bit would have left and then I buff the nails with a buffing block in preparation for gel polish application and design. And this is my actual speed surface filing.
I always pull my skin away from the acrylic when I'm sealing my cuticle area and my side wall. If you are new to acrylic application or not familiar with the terminology, sealing of the cuticles and side wall simply means that you are using your file to blend that acrylic into your natural nail and seal the area of acrylic around your cuticle area and side wall. And this is done primarily so that water moisture won't settle under that acrylic causing lifting and you know maybe infections and it also makes your gel polish application look so much cleaner and neater when you have clean flush cuticle areas So as you know, I go in with a sand band on the surface of my nail to remove any file marks that my carbide bit may have left behind. And I also take the sand band around my side walls and my cuticle area, you know, as somewhat of an insurance policy to make sure that my cuticle areas and side walls are clean, flush and sealed. Um, the carbide bit can be a bit rough, so if you're not careful with it, you may cut your customer. So you want to be very careful with that and this is why I go in with as an extra step with the sand band to make sure that it is sealed properly. <laughs> So now that my acrylic is all 
buffed and scrubbed and clean. I'm going to go in with this beautiful pink glittered gel polish on my middle finger and it's called Magic Dust. It has a gold shift to it and this will be in one of our new collections which we'll be launching on Sunday and I have some great news for you. We have begun shipping internationally. We just have not advertised it in a big way as yet. Um, so I will link our website as well as our Instagram page in the description bar below. Send us a message via direct message on Instagram if you are not in Trinidad and you want to get your hands on our products and we will guide you through the ordering process via Instagram. I use a cleaner brush to clean up around my cuticle area and side walls whenever I apply gel polish and I'm gonna go into cloud 9 which is a beautiful sheer cloudy white um, gel polish in another one of our collections that we'll be releasing on Sunday as well it has a pink undertone to it so it's really pretty and I'm, I've really been obsessing over sheer nudes lately so I'm gonna be doing a white pattern on this nail so I just apply two coats of the gel polishes and I cure for 60 seconds under my LED lamp What I absolutely love about the sheer nudes is that you can layer the colors together. So if a pink is too pink, you can add a cloud nine, which is a white, a pinkish white, and tone down the pink a bit. If a nude is too nude, you can layer it with a pink sheer nude and give it like a pink tinge to it. So I really love that about it. I'm now going in with Lily White, which is our white gel polish and you know, my favorite striping brush or art brush that I always rave about and I'm gonna create um, I really don't plan my line with designs I just kind of go with the flow but I try to keep my brush and my hand as steady as possible and um, you know I just try to make sure that the design is symmetrical so what is happening on one side is happening on the other side to balance off the design
Once I'm satisfied with the design, I go ahead and I cure this for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. And then I'm gonna apply our velvet mat over top of this design. Um, that's another thing I really love about the Shenwoods. I find they look really good matte when I do designs, but glossy when I do like crystal application on top of them. It's bling time and I'll be using a combination of the rose gold caviar beads that I got off of dailycharm.com and I'm using the SS3 rose gold Swarovskis and a combination of, I think they call them fancy stones, it's the teardrops and the rumbus in this pink shade and guys I swear by using ONS brush on resin and the hurry up spray glue dryer as a combination for applying Swarovski crystals that will not come off until the client comes back for a fill. I have had, had clients who've went for over a month with their nails and Swarovski crystals on and they stay on with this brush on resin and that hurry up spray glue dryer. I will leave a video in the cards above for how I apply my Swarovski crystals where I go in depth with the products so you can have an idea of um, what I use and how I use it. When I have finished applying my crystals, I go ahead and I spray the glue with the Hurry Up Nail Glue Dryer. And then I apply my No Wipe Top Coat to all of my uh, Baby Boomer nails and cure for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. And here we have the completed set. I really enjoy these really pretty girly soft looks. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed creating it for you. And most importantly, I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comment section below um, how the speed at my normal rate worked out for you. Otherwise, I will be speeding up my videos and all of my videos in the future. Because um, this video has been pretty long. 
so nonetheless thanks for joining me again and uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet go ahead and click that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye